Take exit 3B, then turn right onto North Church Street. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Okay, today we're talking about Lamography, color negative 400, specifically in 35 millimeter. Now, I have never tried this film before. Typically when I shoot 400, I'll shoot Portra 400, but I've really stopped doing that so much because I'm so terrible at developing and scanning that. For some reason, I can just never get the colors right in Portra 400. Um, so I'll shoot like Ultramax 400 or Fuji Superior 400. Now, I was part of Emulsive, check them out. They have a secret Santa every year for film photographers and there's almost a thousand film photographers that participate and you get, you know, hopefully if you hook up with the right secret Santa, really crazy stuff. I mean, I sent my secret Santa a ton of stuff like a dispose, I mean, not a, a point and shoot film, a ton of uh, film, some negatives, but my secret Santa was really amazing to me as well. She sent me a three pack of Lomo 400, a three pack of Lomo 800, a ton of other film, prints. Anyway, that's how I ran across Lomo 400 and decided to go ahead and shoot it. Now, I had no expectations for this film and to be honest, you know, I didn't even really review any, uh, anyone else's images of this film stock online prior to going out. But I was like, all right, I am always looking for an excuse to go shoot my new Leica M4P. So Connie and I hopped in the car, headed to Uptown Charlotte, as they call it. And I, I just basically burned a roll in an hour, hour and a half. No real like expectation of walking away with bangers. It was just, how does this film look? So let's do this. Let's go to downtown Charlotte. Let's see the, the, uh, the shoot, me walking around, just taking pictures of inanimate objects. And then come back here, let's talk about my thoughts on the film. And then let's talk about this film, what do, we, what do we think it actually is? Because Lomo doesn't really make any new film. They make a couple film stocks, like they just re released Lomo Chrome Metropolis, which is an amazing film. I was able to shoot a pre-production roll of that. It's amazing. Um, but they don't really make a lot of films, so what is this film? Who makes this film? Let's talk about that. All right, let's go to Uptown Charlotte. We'll meet right back here. All right guys, so what did you think? So I was shooting all of those images on my Leica M M4P with a Voigtlander VC meter two. So uh, it was all reflective metering via this meter with a Voigtlander scope, color scope R F 2.5. I was probably shooting most of my shots F eight or higher. It was overcast. So that may have had an impact on the white balance of these photos. I developed this myself at home in standard C41 chemicals, and then I scanned all the images on a ViewScan scanner. The details on all of that are below. Okay, so I did some research online, and what people are saying is they think none of this is substantiated. Of course, it's internet 
uh, folklore. But a lot of people are thinking it's Kodak VR 400, an older emulsion. It VR was uh, what replaced. It was replaced in the 90s by the Gold Series. So they're saying like VR 200 is Color Plus 200, and what people are thinking is VR 400 is Lomo 400. And you know, VR 400 apparently was pretty popular in the 80s, and you know, it definitely gives that 80s vibe. I, I really like it. One of my favorite ones is the one where it is a two bay loading dock with a garbage can. When I saw like the contrast of colors there, the pink garbage can, the white, I mean the yellow pole on uh, the left, and then like the white, I was like, man, this is, this is perfect. I, and I, with Portra, for some reason, it just loves pink. So whenever I see pink, I always want to capture it with Portra. And wow, you'll see the pink in that garbage can. It looks amazing. I, I really like that image. It's one of my favorites from the day. And you'll notice that the, the film does provide some saturation and contrast. For example, the image where I took a shot of the post in the ground in front of Starbucks, that really green, deep, saturated, contrasty post. I just love the way that one looks. Um, moving on real quick to the green covered ivy parking lot. I wanted to see how it represented greens. Did it oversaturate them or make them really desaturated? I really love the way that ivy looks on that parking sign. Uh, one more, the architecture of the buildings. Like I, it was, it was an overcast-ish day. We would have breaks where the clouds would open up, and I really love that like grayish blue that was reflecting off a lot of the windows. And I think this film really handled it well. The grain is not too bad either on this film. I anticipated higher grain like uh, from a consumer film, what you would anticipate with like an Ultramax 400. Not too bad with this film. I was able to grab a couple skin tones. Connie was with me. So here's one where we were at lunch and she was to her right illuminated by a window. To her left was the shadow of the deep part of the restaurant, right? So there's no real light on there. So a good contrast line there. You'll see it renders skin tones a little reddish brown, but Connie does have an underlying reddish brown in her skin tone as well. Now, when we went into Starbucks, I just wanted to see how it rendered, you know, neon lights and backlit signs. Like for example, this mobile order, the, the highlights quickly ran away from me in this image and I had to pull them back pretty far in post. Let's see. Then there's this one cool image of Connie where there's railing and behind where Connie's at is uh, the buildings in the background, but there's also a church reflecting her glasses. I was like, oh, hold still. You know, and I just snapped that shot. I really love the way that shot looks. I wish I'd have asked her to move her arm down and I think it would have been an amazing portrait. And finally, we were in this museum and I, there was just a bench with a little plaque over it. And I was like, this is hopefully gonna be an amazing shot. And I love like the chocolatey reddish browns that are rendered, rendered in this image. So I'm really pleased with this film. I really love all Lomography stuff. I mean, they're avid film community enthusiasts. They don't like just to sell film. They love being part of the community. So I always encourage you to at least buy a few of their products and check it out because you're try to, probably trying to find a look that says, hey, this is my look. And if you're trying a lot of the, the pro films out there that everyone else is shooting, everyone's shooting for Portra 400, this might be a little differentiator for you. So absolutely check it out. All right. So. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with the, the Lomo 400. I've got two more rolls and uh, I'm gonna save them for something cool. Not sure what yet. All right, so if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You can just click that subscribe button down below. Please be sure to click the bell beside that. That'll let you know when I upload new videos. All right, more good stuff hopefully to come. See you guys soon.